हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट प्रोसीजर ऑफ डिटरमाइनिंग शॉर्ट स्टेचर ऑफ लॉन्ग बोन्स मेजरमेंट ऑफ लॉन्ग बोन्स कैन बी डन बाय हेप बर्न ऑस्टियोमेट्रिक बार If you take the length of the long bone as x, that length of the long bone should be multiplied with some multiplication factor for determining the stature. Femur and tibia will give the better results. So bones and their multiplication factor. Femur should the length of the femur should be multiplied with. 3.7 and add it to 0.8 to get the stature tibia and femur length are multiplied with 4.8 and 0.8 is added to get the stature humerus is multiplied with 5.3 to get stature ulna is multiplied with 6.1 to get stature radius is multiplied with 6.9 to get stature all these can be in the difference of 0.8 should be added for all these rule of thumb for stature tells us that what is the contribution or approximate contribution of different bones of the body to the overall stature of the body, of the individual so if you see rule 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 of thumb to the stature vertebral column will constitute 35% of stature femur constitutes 27% of stature tibia constitutes 22% of stature humerus constitutes 20% of stature finger thank you and thank you for watching